Hello guys, it's me Zane and I just added ice to my orchids for 4 months. Oh. There was a video like 3 months ago on my channel titled I just added ice to my orchids for a month. So if you want to watch that video, click on the info card in the corner and you will know everything. So this video is a follow-up for that video. But if you don't have time or mood to watch that video and me bitching around on, in that video, well, here's me recapping <laughs> that video. Said first, I bought three Fallen of Orchids for a really cheap price. They were discounted, but they still had flowers. So they were they're still rather on the healthy side with roots, stuff like that and I bought them for this experiment. I wanted to try out the watering method which just at Ice Orchids, that questionably popular company, actually uses, not uses, that's a lie, they don't use it, they only use it as a part of their marketing that they advertise that the orchids can be watered with ice or any other orchid can be watered with ice. You just have to add ice therefore the name, three ice cubes to your orchid once a month, no, once a week, and it will be good. I have a huge question mark about that. In my mind, for one month I was watering my orchids with ice, since I had to water them for four weeks, which is one month, I did four waterings with ice, which is a short time, and I didn't want it to say that one month was enough to have a conclusion about that. After the one month, I had some conclusions, and in that video I said that I'm gonna continue this experiment and I'm gonna do an update. Well, here we go. <laughs> some interesting things happened in that video, especially on their site, on the Just Advice Orchid site, there was a research mentioned about this whole watering. It was titled something like the irrigation of potted fallen of these orchids with ice, and uh, the conclusion of that research was that the ice is actually not damaging for the plant. The minimal temperature inside the fallen of this root is like 4 degrees Celsius, which is kind of unbelievable for me. Like imagine a, an ice cube touching an orchid root. That's crazy. But you know, who am I to judge the Ohio State University's research? <laughs> and actually in that video I said that I had three fallen of this orchids. One I had to repot because the root system was just horrible, so I repot it. And instead of having and keeping it in bark chips, I kept it in leca pebbles because that's my preferred medium. Every time I repot an orchid, I repot into inorganic medium. And the fun of these orchids are kept in leca pieces, leca pebbles in my collection, so that's the reasoning behind that. At the time, they had blooms. Now, they don't have blooms because four months, that's a lot for these orchids, which were water with ice. As I said, after the one month, I kept watering with ice my orchids and I question my orchids life a lot. <sighs> it's watering time for my fallen abscess and I have here usually my ice and I'm gonna just put the ice on the soil like I do every week for these fallen abscess orchids and while I'm doing this I'm gonna talk you through all my ideas which are in my mind right now. My first issue was the infestation of the mealybugs and I got rid of them well, some of them are popping up here and there, but I'm just taking care of that, so I don't have an infestation of mealybugs anymore. If there are some mealybugs, I'm just getting rid of them. This fallen up, this which I'm watering right now, or just putting ice on it right now. <laughs> It's funny to say I'm watering it. The root system is not so great. Look at that, it's really wobbly and you can already see some dead roots there which are not really good. So I'm gonna have to repot this one as well soon. Here is my last fallen up, this is the biggest one. I can spot some mealy bugs on the leaves which I need to take care of. I can safely say that I can see the same thing happening with all of them. And this is dehydration. If I touch the leaves, they bend really easily. I can really easily bend the leaves of this one and this one as well. And here we are in the present and I guess I should show you my orchids right now. How do they look like? Okay, it's different from a distance, but look at these leaves. Oh wow, <laughs> this one is still alive, this one is still alive, this one pretty much dead. <laughs>
At some point, Millibox appeared on my phone of Zizor Kids and I was really angry about that because I hate them, I really do hate them. And since I hate them and since they are past, I tried to actually get rid of them. I didn't want to repot them yet because I wanted to continue the experiment with these Phalaenopsis orchids in this medium, the original medium, because the research actually pointed out that this irrigation method was researched on Phalaenopsis which were potted in bark chips, so I wanted to keep them in bark chips, so you know. But you know what happened? I went away for a two-week vacation. And as usual, on a two-week vacation, my orchids has to be watered by someone else who is not me. <laughs> so I asked my mom to water all my orchids. I didn't want to like bother her with that, so I did the watering right before I left. Then she had to do only one watering in the middle of my vacation, so when I got back, I had to water again. So the weekly watering happened and only one watering happened in the care of my mom. Well, no disaster happened this year and if you're curious about that, watch the video in the corner. If you click on the info card, you can watch that video. But also I asked my mom to water my experiment Phalaenopsis with ice and I told her just to put ice on the medium, not in the crowns because that would be just horrible. So she watered them with ice, hopefully. <laughs> there was nobody to check on them regularly to see the mealybugs. So the mealybugs had their party and they were partying hard. It was a vacation for me, it was a vacation for them. Everybody's happy. Not me knowing that the mealybugs have a party on my phone of this, but whatever. So when I got back, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I need to do something about them. But first I had to do a video about them. So first I had to wait until I can make this video right now. And after it, I can treat my mealybugs because I didn't want to bother because the mealybug infestation right now is just so horrible that I have to repot them. I don't want to be left like mealybugs on my phone of the circuit. So yeah. I was just waiting and waiting and trying to not think about the millibug party on my plants. These are the only plants which have millibugs, by the way, so that's okay. But here comes the catch. When I went away, a huge heat wave actually hit Slovakia, hit the central Europe part where I live, which means more watering for my plants because the heat right now is just unbelievable. Like, I mean, we had the first rain after a month, like right now. The basic idea that three ice cubes is enough once a week for your phalaenopsis orchid, that amount of water is not enough. This combined with the heat. These phalaenopsis orchids are dehydrated right now. Also, here we have this one that phalaenopsis orchid. Guess what was the cause of the death? It was stem rot. So maybe now you all know where I'm going with this, but there was a good question raised by one of my viewers. What about the fertilization of these plants? Should I put the fertilizer into the water? Then should I freeze that water? I was curious about that as well. Since nobody told me how to fertilize these plants, I guess I was just like, oh, okay, I just have to put ice on them and that's that. But then a really interesting thing happened. After four years, just a Dice Orchid YouTube channel started to post again and they posted three videos. We're gonna watch them because one of them is about the fertilizing. <laughs> orchid care, orchid reblooming basics, how to fertilize an orchid and how to care for your orchid in six easy steps. Your orchid isn't dead, it's only resting. Again, they... Orchid, fun of these orchids are not resting. They don't have a winter rest, they don't have a dormancy, they just slow down because it's winter, but they are not resting. They need the same amount of water. Okay, you need to water a little bit less because it's winter time and the evaporation is less in the winter time because it's colder, but they are not resting, bitch. Ew. What? What was that? What was that? Blooms return six, nine months after resting. Well, that is called the growing period, not resting. If the plant is resting, that means it's not doing anything. And if the plant is not doing anything, that means that the Phalaenopsis orchid is not growing new leaves. And if the if a Phalaenopsis orchid is not growing new leaves, that means that the stem is not elongating. Therefore, there's gonna be not available eyes for a new spike to grow on your orchid. So it's not resting, it's called growing period, bitch. <laughs> They're just gonna show me what, what, what? 
dormant orchid. <laughs> I have to leave a comment. Comment. Stop fertilizing with the orchids in bloom. Why? Okay, this video is weren't as fun as the videos from that other European orchid something. <laughs> I love those videos. Even though they are just clearly stealing money from the European Union, I love those videos. Okay, so here we go. You don't have to fertilize them with ice, you have to fertilize them normally. But then why would you water them with ice? So it's time for final conclusions. I watered these poor Phanopsis orchids with ice for four months. One, the ice was not enough. Three ice cubes once a week is clearly not enough. Two, it can cause damage. By damage, I mean this. <laughs> this one of this orchid got stem rot and I'm pretty sure it was because of the ice. Maybe the ice got some bear into the stem between the leaves and it was stuck there, so it was bad. Three, I'm not gonna continue this experiment further because we can all see what's gonna happen with these Phalaenopsis orchids. If I don't repot them, if I keep watering with ice, it's gonna be clearly not enough, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> so the future of these orchids, I'm gonna repot them, I'm gonna remove the mealy bugs from them, I'm gonna repot them into clay pebbles like I regularly do with my orchids. I'm gonna throw out that one dead orchid and I'm gonna forget about ice and I'm gonna never think about it again. Or maybe I will when I wanna mock that company. <laughs> In one sentence, just don't add dice to your orchids, okay? Just don't. <laughs> this company is selling their orchids based on basically a lie. Oh my god, oh my god, sharing unpopular opinions. Also, after a time, I wasn't getting the weekly reminders to water my plant. I don't know, maybe they assume that since I'm watering with ice, my plants already died, so they don't have to send me weekly reminders, I guess. <laughs> don't water your orchid with ice cubes, because it's stupid and bad. And also, they share false information, like your fun of this orchid is dormant. Bitch, your fall is not dormant, because falls are not dormant, like, never. So this is my video for today and I hope you liked it and I hope that this experiment will not affect them so they won't like stem rot in the future or crown rot in the future for me. And if you like this video, click on the like button. If you dislike this video, you're someone who thinks your fun of this orchid is dormant. <laughs> you can subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to click on the bell button so you will get notifications. You can subscribe to my other channel where you can find stupid shit like me. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram. So, see you next time. Don't water with ice. Bye, guys.